many know that when you have a purpose and a calling on your life, there's nothing that nobody, nobody, and nothing can happen. I am Angela C. Wright. Your number says shrunk. He said, I don't know how, why. You're not gonna, yeah. you're gonna have to have mounds of security for me because you're not gonna get me. If I wasn't depressed and going through what I was going through, I probably would have never started. Oh, and this episode was brought to you by the Ayers Agency, a full service marketing firm noted in entertainment and culture. Hey, y'all, welcome to another dope episode of Break Free Podcast. With your host free, I have a special treat for you guys today. I want you guys to help me to welcome Will and Quashanda. I got to get it right. Quashanda <laughs> Kitchens of the Kitchen Table. Hi, guys. Hey, Free. Hey, how you doing? How y'all doing? Good. Right. Great. Glad oh, you, to be here. You all dapper. Hey, What's up, Free? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming yes, through. Thank you for having us. Thank I you. am so excited to dive into y'all's story because it's been a roller coaster. It has. Yeah, it's yeah. been a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I have to yeah. tell y'all, y'all are in for a treat. No, really. They were married, divorced, and now they're married again. Yep. So yeah, exactly. not only does that show uh, tenacity, it shows that there is a God. It shows that prayer works. It shows yeah. that there is life after. Yes. Yeah, yes. so let's let's talk about it. Y'all were originally okay. married. When How old and what year? 22. Tw he was 22. <clears throat> I was 21. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. 1999, we got married. Yep. August yeah. 21st, 1999. Babies. Right. We were babies. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So it was it was a lot in the beginning of the marriage because we were so young. We had kids. And how and many we, kids did y'all have at first? At first, we had five total. Mm -hmm. Right. And we had, <clears throat> then we had two together biologically, and then he had two. Okay. So, so y'all had four mm -hmm. at had 22 four. and 21. We yes. got married, it was three. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because Trail wasn't born. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and I had two outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like a blended family, and y'all right. was young. Right. Yes. And and so that first year was like bliss, like love. Like oh yeah, we had a big, huge wedding oh, yeah. uh, at the church. He, I had to have enough bridesmaids to keep up with all his groomsmen. Yeah, I had so ten groomsmen. Like, yeah, you had, had ten groomsmen. Yes. Wow. Ten groomsmen. Yep. Limos, ten bridesmaids. Four, five um, limos. Yeah. Reception on the golf, golf course. course yeah. Two yeah. week. Uh, honeymoon in Jamaica, yeah. so it was. Oh, y'all did it big. Yeah, we did it yeah, big. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We do it big. Yeah. It was yeah. huge. The first wedding was <clears throat> yeah. definitely huge. So mm -hmm. we had all the, you know, butterflies Bells and, and, yeah. and yeah, yeah. The, those first couple of years were like just in love, mm -hmm. in love. Then as we start going, the reality start kicking in of life. responsibility. Mm -hmm. And life be life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to take care life. of these kids, got to get some money, got to figure out these careers. Because, again, we were so right. young. I was still in school. I was trying to go to dental school with two kids. Um, well, at the time, we only had our one son together. Mm -hmm. And then our second son came, what, they like three and a half, four years apart. 2000. So it just started. Right. And then in-laws and co-parents. Baby mamas. Woo, that's a whole nother Two show. Them. Yeah, that's a whole nother yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a whole nother show. Lot. It was a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a whole nother yeah, show. Yeah, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> that's a whole nother show. Yeah. yeah that's a whole yeah. nother show. So, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. And then, so, what would you say, when did y'all start to notice, like, the problems or the, fri or the friction? It was like, what you say? Hmm. Probably for me, I seen a change in her once, honestly, once her sisters got older. So you feel like her sisters was an outside influence? Or? Well, kind of, sort of. But we, like I told my wife, we have to evolve into what we become. Mm -hmm. We were parents. We were husband and wife. Mm -hmm. But there's also the outside influences of Bike Week, Miami, things that we couldn't do. We couldn't go there. Mm -hmm. And it, it became, well, and one day she told me, she said, I gave you my 20s. I'm like, but... We was here together. Like, what do you mean you gave it to me? Like, I gave, I gave you mine, mine too. Because right. Right. I remember one time I had a Hummer, and one of my friends, he had a record label. He was like, come go to Miami with us. I said, I can't go. He said, well, let me get your Hummer. I gave him the Hummer. He put some 28s on it, and they went and had a ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I didn't go. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't care to go mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like, okay, let's do what we're doing here at home. But mm -hmm. I think, and, and a lot of finances, 
you know, a lot of um, the the outside Harrington, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. the in laws mm-hmm. per se, and so uh, me wanting to be such of a hustler, the ups and downs of the money not being consistent enough mm-hmm. put a strain on her. Okay, because you know, mm-hmm. where we from, you put everything in your baby mama name. The house was in her name. Yeah. The Everything. cause was in her name. The yeah. credit cause. If, if anything happened to me, I don't want no, no, you good. Yeah. You work mm-hmm. your job. Mm-hmm. I got this in, but, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Certain so, things yeah. happened where it didn't, you know, a couple plays weren't made right, mm-hmm. you know. So I didn't get that ability to bring that back to the house. Yeah. Know? So yeah. it was, mm-hmm. it was a So lot. it started to be like just the outside influences, finances mm-hmm. played a part. And and when did y'all decide, like, this is it? We so we tower. separated twice. The first time yeah. we separated, it was very minor. It was like in uh, 2006. Mm-hmm. He probably, he left the house for what, maybe two, four months? Yeah. Probably about four yeah, months. About four months, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was it was mild. So I was like, yeah. okay, well, you know, I they sing the song and do all the, say all the right stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, let's try it again. And then um, I want to say the, like the winter, the end of the year, 2007, that's when we really split because we lost the house. Um, yeah, so we, when we yeah. lost the house, I was just like, okay, you go your way. I'm going to take the kids. I'm going back to my mama's yeah, house. I remember that time. And, yeah. That was, was a hard time. Yeah. It was a hard time because mm-hmm. <clears throat> I had tried so hard to get back, and I led with, I felt like I led with the money. So I had did my first real estate deal, made like 20 grand, and um, I went back home. I never forget that day. They had a they had a we had a Boulder Crest day. I went and picked my sons up, went to the mall, we fresh. And um got back to the house to drop them off. She called me or texted me and she was like, uh, I cook. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I come in and eat. Yeah. And then I think we kinda, you know, had some some time. But after the money it was it was back to, you know, reality. Do you feel like when when your money is not right, you're not right? Definitely. What's your sign? Capricorn. Oh, I'm a Capricorn. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We go into, we can shut down. Yeah, I shut down. Yeah, we yeah, can yeah, shut, down shut down when our money is not right. We can yeah, yeah. also be um, really uh, not not offensive, but we can be, like, detached, yeah. especially mm-hmm. from the person who's closest to us. Mm-hmm. It's disrespectful. Yeah. That could be disrespectful. Yeah. Not in, not, it's not personal. It's just... I'm not right, so I might do some stuff that's not right, and you, she might not know why I'm doing that, why I'm moving like that, because yeah. I'm not right. Yeah, so. that's how, not taking up for him, not taking mm-hmm. up for him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when he kept saying about the finances, I'm like, oh, let me ask him how does he yeah. feel when his money's not right. And then the next question was the sign, because I'm a Capricorn, and okay. I definitely relate. And, and we're yeah. the type of people, we are go-getters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And we don't sit around and yeah. wait for a handout. We're going to yeah. try to figure it out. Yeah. And most that's of the time, we try to figure it out on our own. Without asking for a hand, out of asking somebody, and that's what that's one of the things I love about him. He always tell me, "Let me be your manager. Let yeah. me be that's his yeah, that's yeah. his line. Yeah, yeah. Let me be your manager. Let me yeah, be your yeah. manager." Because he does, he has that go getter spirit. He mm-hmm. like never like just you know sit at home twiddling his thumbs. Like, well, let me just see. But still, when you have so much on your plate with kids yeah. and you know house and responsibilities, I'm like, well, I feel like I'm drowning because I'm mm-hmm. I'm being mama, wife, I'm working, mm-hmm. I'm you know keeping <laughs> everything together. So I'm just like, and then I gotta hear you know the side conversations of this one calling, well, I need this, this, this and this one calling, I need this, this, this. and then the mama calling, his mama calling, like, this, this, this. and I'm like, oh my god. So you was like the financial provider too for your family. Not yeah. not your not not your wife and your kids, but like your ex- yeah, like yeah, your my, extended family. Yeah, my family. They you know they lean on me for a lot of stuff. Um, I made a lot of decisions. I kind of help everybody hold it together. Even to this day, my phone could ring about twelve different things from different cousins and, and, and friends. My dad, mom. You know. Have just, you got to the point where you're able to kind of control that? You yeah. know where you notice when you know you yeah, know. Yeah, I just learned the word no. No. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a complete sentence. No. Yeah. I ain't, yeah. I can't mm-hmm. do it. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, like I, I, I try to make sure everybody around me is straight. And I think that's one of my weaknesses because I want everybody around me to be happy, to be good. You know, no matter what, if I can help you, I'm going to do it. If I can show you how to do something, I'm going to do it. But at the same time, it might take away from right here, mm. you know what I'm saying, at home. You know, because um, sometimes the first marriage was one of her main points that she was driving to me. 
you got something to do with me, we need to do that. But I would go and do something else with my mom. Or let's say if I, my mom say, come up to the house for a second. Okay, well, what you need? We gone the whole day. We gone the whole day, me and my mom. But I'm looking at it like, that's my mama. What's wrong with you? Calm down. What, what your problem is? Yeah. This is my yeah. mama. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he didn't what you understand doing? that leave and cleave type thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the <clears throat> household now. Like, his mama would try to run. Both households. I'm like, mm-hmm. she can't run this household. This yeah. Our house. Like, yeah, yeah. so it was a lot of Yeah, that was the bumping first marriage. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of bumping Cause, heads. Cause even though like, like I'm gonna go get it. My mom was the one who showed me like she, we started so many businesses back in yeah. the day. Like yeah. Yeah. we had a limousine company, lingerie company. She showed me real estate. So it was like, if she called me and said, hey, I got a deal on the table. I'm gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? She's like, it, go get to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes it's like, she had good intentions, but sometimes it don't even be panning out right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I waste my whole day. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. So, so the, that, that second time when y'all separated, how long was this separation when y'all lost the house and everything? It was about a good solid two years. Two, yeah, two yeah, years. Two years. Two years just like straight separation. And then like the yeah. third year. We started being cordial again, and then we kind of Oh, started. I got to the point y'all wasn't even talking. Yeah. Yeah, I keyed his car and everything. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, See, to me, it was a walk. Like, to me, I tell people like this. At that time, <laughs> at that time in my life, it was walking death for me, because you yeah. got to think. I met her in the ninth grade. Mm-hmm. I told her then, back in the day, you're going to be my wife on the, on the back of a Harris photo. Like, Harris oh, is the, the green bride. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. like, you're going to be my wife. Like, I knew that then, but we separated. She dated other people, we dated other people. Then when we actually got married, I had my, got my wife, I got my, this is my family, this is what I wanted to be, because I wanted to have a family. Yeah. My father wasn't there, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I, this is what I wanted. And when we separated, I was just like, I didn't even know what day it was. I partied every day of the week. Lost. Every day, with my little, little bitty cousin, <laughs> with, yeah. with my little partner, Dre, man. Yeah. Like, we partied every day, liqueur, uh, 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 all them old clubs back in the day. I, was, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. If I wasn't drunk or with another woman, I couldn't, I couldn't, fa- I, it was like walking there. Mm. Couldn't do it. And how was it for you it. during that period? Um, when happy were we ahead. <laughs> I felt free. like, I felt, yeah, I did, free. I did, I did. I felt, I felt free. I felt free in the beginning um, because I felt like that weight was off. Like I didn't have to hear the, the, you know, the nagging, come do this, come do this. I need this. I need that. And I didn't have to, I didn't have to deal with it. It was like out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did feel free. And then I felt, you know, I just worked on my craft cause I had started becoming an esthetician. Well, I had just got my esthetician license. So I was just, you know, working, growing my business, taking care of the kids. And then, um, you know, I had started to, I had moved in with my mom, stayed there for probably about a year, and then I got an apartment for me and the boys, and everything was good, and then I start, I really started missing him. I remember writing it in my journal. I was like, man, this loneliness cuts like a knife. Mm. Like, but I, I still knew I wasn't ready to go back. I didn't think he was ready, so I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing to him. I'm just keep doing what I'm doing, and if it happens, it happens, but I really wasn't thinking about, like, he wasn't even thinking about, I don't think, getting back together at the time because we were just trying to, you know, do what we were doing. But at the same time, we had what we had. It was a little just all over the place, but it was still solid. The love was always there. I lost respect, um, trust, you know, stuff like that. But the love, you know, that never went away. Did you ever date while y'all were separated Mm. that time for the two years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I called her at the airport. She called me at the airport. What was it? Tell me about it. Tell me. Tell me. Tell, you, no, tell me. Will, no, you, no, tell no, you tell me. Will, you tell me. Will, you tell the story. So, I'm going to tell the story. Because yeah, like, I think he, t- I think he is like a private investigator or something. No, I swear. Don't play with me. It was, I think it was one. Don't I'm play like, with girl, me. did you tell him where <laughs> I was at? Don't play with me. Like, who, no. Didn't nobody know where I was at? No. Like, how did he show up at the airport? How did he show up at the airport? See, I travel. We travel. You know what I'm saying? So. And then I had a limo service. So going to the airport was like nothing for me because I knew the yeah, airport. Yeah, like, they didn't have all them restrictions. I knew what I had to go down. I knew, you know what I'm saying, different place. So I called her just to get my sons. Like, well, let me get my son the weekend. Oh, they with my mom. Well, let me get my boy. And she was kind of like, no, like not saying. I'm like, well, where you at? I'm out with some friends. So I called the mama. Mm-hmm. Mama, uh, where the boys at? Oh, they on here. Okay, well, what's on that? Oh, she went out of town. Oh, okay. Oh, you out of town. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, you out of town. Okay, let's see what. So 
I called her, mm-hmm. and she answered the phone, and I heard that, ding, seatbelt. That's all I asked at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I hopped on 285. Yeah. I parked downstairs. I walked. I walked. So, so okay. So, at the airport, everybody come up one way. That's how they're going to get you. See, yeah. you don't understand that. Yeah. You go to the airport. You coming in, you come up one way. One way. So, I went behind that. It's a, it was another, like, an escalator. You go up, and I'm standing over the rafter looking down to wait to see what she come up. Cause you got you, Then, when you come up, you can't go but north or south. Yeah. She came up, right? I ain't really see the dude at the time, right? Mm-hmm. But she come up. I see her. I said, okay, it's time for me to go down. So I go down, they went to the left. They over there by baggage claim. I walked over there right by them. Don't call me no more. <laughs> no, that ain't what you said. That ain't what that you what said. That's what I said. Don't no, call me no he more. said, I remember, because he had called me, the first time he had called me, we was on the plane, and he heard that seatbelt go off. So yeah, the seatbelt yeah. did go off, and I answered. And he was like, what, what he said, like, where you at? Where the boys? And I was like, they with my mama or something like that. Where you at? I, to, I think I told him I was out of town on a I'm getting mad all red all over again. A <laughs> and so then, and so then um, however the airport worked, we were, we were at baggage claim. And then I, he called again, and I, I didn't want to not answer. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hello? He said, turn around. And I turned around slow motion. It was so slow. I turned around and he was standing right there. I saw. I thought I saw a ghost. And then but y'all I just, wasn't together. No. Don't play with me though. No, we weren't. No, no, together. no, no, no. I wanted my son that weekend. You were answering the phone and you tried to lie. Just say I'm going out of town. I be one of my boo. I'm going out of town. Be busy the weekend. Don't lie to me though. But see that's why we wasn't How together. How did you know she came back? How you know the the dean wasn't an indication of her at her destination. How did you know she was back in Atlanta? I think it was Sunday. It's time to come back. The boys got to go to school. It, it's a time frame. You, you go out of town for the weekend. So yes, I'm like, yeah. That's yeah. that Capricorn for yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And yes. so you turned around in slow motion and seen him. And I like, seen him and I thought I saw a ghost. I was like, oh my effing gosh. See, that's what I'm saying. Right you didn't feel like you were doing nothing wrong. Why you feel like you saw a ghost? No, I'm just saying, you like, why would you? Right. So then I, I turned so around goes your slow. Pants. You saw I turned around slow, like I ain't see nothing. Right. And then I turned back around, he was gone. Yeah. He was gone. Don't call me no more. He was gone. So I was like, so your and that's when it got you real You just wanted to know that you seen her? Don't play with me. <laughs> you was hurt. It was walking there for me anyway. Yeah. But don't play with me. Don't, yeah. don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, let's Why keep did it you real. feel like she was playing with you? Did you feel like she was still okay, leaving okay, you Okay, 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 hold on. Because... The first marriage, there was so many emphasis on what she needed, right? Mm-hmm. Consistency, security, stability. How are you getting this from this particular person? She was just passing time. No, you, you mm-hmm. passing time with me. Yeah, yeah we passing, passing time. time. Stay, stay, yeah, stay, with, passing time. stay with the family then. That's Why it. you gonna break up the family? That's it. Mm-mm. So it who decision much. was it to, to, for y'all to walk away? Mine. Oh, okay. Ultimately. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unanimous. So that's why you said stay with the family. Unanimous. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 What, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. And I told her, i never forget, like, we was in our house that we lost, right? Because mm-hmm. we had, we, we, what we bought? That was our first house? Yeah, that was our so first house. So we purchased, house. like, okay, so the first mm-hmm. house, we was in the garage, and we was going through the, you know, we separated. I said, you know what's messed up? Oh, yeah. We're going to go through these times mm-hmm. of showing the next person the right way to be. Like, I'm, I know now how to be a good husband and a father. And you know, maybe you learned some things now. You know how to be a good wife and a mother, but we're not going to do that together. Mm. We're going to do this mm-hmm. separate. And that's what hurt me the most. Like, Because, mm-hmm. like I said, people go through stuff. They go through life learning, getting a job, getting an education. But you give up on your relationship. Why? Like, I don't understand that. Yeah, so the divorce, I looked this up because I was just, like, you know, curious. After, like, I knew y'all was coming and everything. So it's a 40 to 50% marriages, first marriages, end in divorce. Mm-hmm. The divorce rate for second marriages are even higher, with the 60 to 67% of second marriages ending in divorce. And statistics say roughly eight years is the average length to marriage. Mm. Yeah. I can see that. Short. Yeah. I can see That's that. short. That's eight short. years That's is short. short. Yeah. yeah. And the divorce rate, 60 to 67%. And, and those numbers, a lot of people are saying now they don't want to get married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think, too, the generation has changed. Like, the younger yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, generation, yeah. like, just feel like we don't yeah. we don't need to get married. Because you ain't seeing it. You're not seeing it. And it, it takes work. 
It takes work. A lot of work. work. Yeah. A lot of, lot of compromise. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so after after the separation, being caught at the airport, did you ever catch him with anybody? I didn't catch him with people per se, but I knew I knew he was dating. I knew he was dating people because my cousins, you know, he had them. This was when Facebook first came out, mm-hmm. and so he had them block me on Facebook. But my cousins, my they old faithful cousins, yeah. yeah, they they were seeing stuff. Girl, did you know who is this? Who is this girl that will they you know? It does, and I look, I was like, let me see, show me. Mm-hmm. And then well, I, I, ain't hide, like, I ain't hide my life though. Uh-uh. So we had a, um, I remember I had went to his, because he was staying with his mom. I had went to his um, mom's house one day. It was after, was it after I ran the Peachtree Road race? I think it was yeah, after I ran like the Peachtree yeah. Road race. <clears throat> and um, I was like, oh, so, because I had asked him for something for the kids. Mm-hmm. And he he did what he was supposed to do, but I was just in my feelings. Yeah, yeah, I, you going to be extra. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm extra. Yeah. So, so you don't want to do what I'm asking you to do. But you could do this. But you could do this. Yeah. And I see uh, you got a new no. car. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. You know, you you riding around in a new charger and, you know, and sitting on that. rims. And, you know, you you looking good yeah. for the ladies. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, then. For okay. the ladies. Okay. 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 So I went to the house and I'm like, but I asked you, I was like, his mom, he didn't come to the door. So so now, so now you really trying I hit, to. I hit the back door. So now you really trying to play me. So I hit the he back door. About, so so I you hit, really trying to play me. She was coming in the front door. I went out the back door when and got him a car. Yeah. No, uh-uh, you didn't get in the car yet because your mom Open came the to the door. And I was like, well, where's Will? I know he's here because I see his car. Mm-hmm. Well, he uh, bit something. She was taking up for him or something. And then I tried to call him. He, we talking on the phone about something. So he, he just basically blowing me off. So I was like, oh, okay, so you don't want to give me what I want? You don't, you don't want to pay me? All right. I took my key. In and front I tried, of the key, in front I tried of the bar, to, man. I tried to take the steel off the car. <laughs> I dug it so hard from the front, from the headlight, all the way to the tail light. And then his mama was like, Shonda, Shonda. And then I think that's when Will came to the front. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, what the fuck? And she was like, his mama stopped him at the at the door. She was like, uh uh-uh, uh, leave her alone. Let her do it. Let her do it. Don't just leave her alone. Let her do it. Let her do it. <laughs> oh, and I keyed it, right. yeah. I keyed all the way to the back. And then I got in my car and I drove off. Just did that crazy. make you feel good? It did. It did. It like did. yeah. It really and how did. you was feeling? <laughs> like this. <laughs> Man, why you keep my car? Yeah. And Brand he kept it car. like that. He yeah. never got it painted. You didn't? Yeah. Like, oh. For what? Mm-mm. And what you used to be telling them, girl? My right, crazy remind behind, crazy, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do what you get, fella. Look, yeah. you see that? Yeah. Don't do that. So yeah. how did y'all decide? So then y'all went through the divorce, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then and y'all was divorced how long? So we were. So we separated in like like I said, two thousand and seven. The end of two thousand and seven. And then the divorce did not become final because he didn't want to take the parenting class. He didn't want to do what the judge said. So um, it kind of prolonged it a bit, but the divorce didn't get final till April of 2009. Mm. So we were separated. We were still, you know, separated. And then... Um, God but, talked to me at the divorce. We, we weren't supposed oh, yeah. to happen anyway. Yeah, he got a story about the Go divorce. Go ahead, tell me. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I mean, I'm just saying, because when we was in the courthouse, the mm-hmm. day of the divorce, mm-hmm. we rode together. She said we didn't spend the night the night before. I said we spent the uh-oh, uh-oh. She said we didn't, though. We did. We did. We did. But, but, but let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. So we ride together. We get to the to the courthouse. A storm happened. Big storm came through. And all the power at the courthouse went out. Mm. So they tell everybody, go outside in the hallway and wait till the power come back. So I tell her, I said, this is a sign. What are we doing? Let's leave. God trying to tell you something. Because he don't make no mistakes. Aww. So I was cordial. We went through with it. Now we get out of the the um, courthouse. It's still storming. We go back to her place. And boy, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> After the divorce was yep. final? Yes. Yep. We sure did. I mean, we always made good music together. It wasn't even nothing. That, that wasn't but no I hesitation. But I mean, y'all just when it signed it I on the dotted line, it's over. It don't matter. It, don't matter. it, it, yeah. it didn't matter. But we did. I, I yeah, I don't we, know. That's why I just we did. We you know. did one. <laughs> so y'all didn't feel like that would cloud y'all judgment of I just did. signing the papers. I did. I but did. We did. So he and and that's what I knew. That's when it really got ugly mm-hmm. too, because I was like, 
I can't play with him because I want I did want the divorce, so I was like, we can't be doing this because yeah. then he gonna think we I'm not together. serious. Yeah. He gonna think I didn't mean what I said, which mm-hmm. I really did. Yeah. So after that, I was just it like, was the influences. Yeah, no, it was the influence. It was not no influences. It was. It no, was. it wasn't. Because when I called her at the airport, she was with an. She was yeah. It yeah. was the influence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was the person she was with, I'm like, oh, okay. You okay. felt like that was the influence for no. it, where it came from. With the introduction to the person, you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 She ain't gonna talk that. about it. Mm-mm. She ain't gonna no, talk I'm, about it. I don't. You met him in the club. Okay. Well, okay, all right. Well, but who a club you met him in? Where your sister was? Okay. Right. Yeah, but my. Sister. Okay. Right. Now you know my sisters are team him, so they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, uh-uh. but they know I. I was, just know the facts. I, no, I what, 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 what can we say? You get the knowledge, get the information. <laughs> Keep your receipts. I was single. <laughs> and keep I your was receipts. single, so they, you know, once I was single, it was but, like, okay, you're single. That, my but point, like I my said in the beginning, are his biggest cheerleader. They cuss me out about him. Be like, my what point you in the beginning, they grew up. So when we got together, they were little kids, right? Mm-hmm. So you go from having the little kids that you're influencing. Not saying that she was, she, she, you know, like easy influence, easy like influence, but yeah, it's still to the point where my sisters, we they now out. doing stuff that I never got a chance to experience. Yeah, you with who? You going well? What happened? Oh shh, it's new for her. It did yeah. what? It's, it, yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, uh-huh. so it was fun and it was mm-hmm. fresh, mm-hmm. and we call it. I'm outside. <laughs> yeah, that was the now nah, this nah, day nah. version of I'm outside. Back then, yeah. We, yeah. It, she was outdoed. That was <laughs> <laughs> she was outdoed. <laughs> yeah, she was like, yeah. yeah, like, I'm like, what is you doing? Mm-hmm. What? Come on, man. Yeah. You, that ain't what you. That ain't what I That's put you true. up here. It's not I put you character. up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I put you up here. Stay mm-hmm. up there. Mm-hmm. Because when I did date the person that I dated, I was gonna marry. Mm-hmm. I was gonna marry. It don't look like it. But no, uh, no, no. Uh, so this is what happened. So she never met my sons. I let, I ain't let, I ain't let my kids see a lot of women. Right. I I, I had I my fair share of, yeah. of, of doing what I needed to do to help myself, but I didn't want them to see all of that. Mm-hmm. And when I did get the opportunity to let them see a person that I felt like we could move forward, that particular young lady and my kids went to a movie. She said, I want to spend time with her just to see by herself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When she got back that night, she said, you need to get back with your wife. And she fast and prayed for me to get back with my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's different. That was deep. That was deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was deep. And to this day, me and some of her friends are now our friends. Oh, wow. Some of the couples I met through her mm-hmm. are now our friends. So it's... And that's how I know it was real what she was doing because it wasn't messy. Mm-hmm. It wasn't to me. It wasn't any mess about what she was saying. Yeah, and I was hurt. I'm like, what you doing now? I got another woman that put me to the dang on curve. <laughs> 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 I can't win for losing. <laughs> this lady don't want me no more. <laughs> now my new yeah. thing don't right. work. Now my new thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have never let her meet them darn kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after, crazy. so finally the divorce and y'all realized, you know, we're not gonna. So how long did the divorce actually last? The the divorce actually lasted what well, the divorce lasted what ten years, but yeah. we we were together. We had started back dating, you know. So after yeah, we, we didn't separated, remarry to ten years. Yeah, we didn't okay, remarry yeah, to yeah. ten years later. Mm-hmm. But after we separated in two thousand and seven, we didn't start coming back. We started back dating in like two thousand and eleven. So it was oh, like four years, three, four, yeah, yeah, three yeah, and a yeah, half, yeah. four. Years. And coming back off those four years, it wasn't hard, like because of. All the previous issues, and now you've dated. I caught you. You had yeah. women. You know, we both did our thing. Like, it wasn't hard for y'all to come back together and to be able to trust one another? No. To me, it was easy. Yeah. It was easy, yeah. Because I never liked dating. To me, dating is disrespectful. But I knew I could trust her because I knew her. Like, we grew up together. So it wasn't, I knew what she liked, and she pretty much knew what I liked. Because this dating world, you can't, it's like, I never understood that I can, they, they, they could talk to you on a Tuesday. But don't answer the phone till Thursday or Friday. Like, where the hell you been all these other days? Like, nah. <laughs> so I, it, it, dating, I didn't want to do that anyway. Mm-hmm. So getting back, and it was it was pretty much my my piece. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all came back after that, the four year hiatus, right? Mm-hmm. Did y'all sit down and talk? Did y'all get therapy? 
Yeah, we we sat down and talked. We had a couple of therapy sessions in our in our marriage, but we really talked like that whole while we were um, apart or when we started back dating. We um, we talked a lot. We did talk a lot. And I had saw, as opposed to him just talking, I actually saw the changes that he were making. Yeah. I saw the difference in the improvement, I would say, in yeah. him. So I knew this time that it was for real. That's Did what you I, ever accept your part in it? Because it seemed like it, it's all pushed on Will. Did you accept your part in because it? Because to be, in my opinion, to be honest, it was mostly him. But I yeah, do, she was ac- good. I do accept. No, she was good. I do. No, she was a part. great mother. She was a great wife and she learned a lot like when we first got together she couldn't cook and now she's a chef <laughs> like, like like she really she really focused on being that that wife mm-hmm. you know from um just the finances just you know being strong and just doing what she felt like she needed to do she really she she progressed so it, it was it was something that I mm-hmm. that I that I that I like about her and I tell a lot of people when you break up, focus on yourself. Get yourself together. Don't worry about what they doing. Don't worry about what she doing. Get yourself together. Go back to school. Get a trade. Do something. Do something to where she will like you. That's what I wanted her to do. Mm-hmm. I wanted her to like me again. So I had to revamp myself. I had to reinvent myself. And that's what she's seen because there was a time when I would, what are you doing? Let's get back together. Why are you doing? And you say, you know, and I said told myself, I said, you know what? Stop that. Put that phone down. Mm-hmm. Go. And that's what I did. I didn't focus on her. I wanted her to see me and want me. So. And this episode was brought to you by The Heirs Agency, a full-service marketing firm noted in entertainment and culture. After, so now you, you worked on yourself mm-hmm. and you realized, like, I'm going to make her fall in love with me all yeah. over again. Definitely. So what was it like when y'all finally joined back together? So, like I said, the first part, I put a lot of responsibilities on her house, um, cars, credit cards. Now, this time around, it was all on me because I had gotten myself Together. financially stable. stable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I became a citizen because <laughs> the first time, I didn't have a bill in my name, not a power bill, phone, nothing, because I, w- I felt like I didn't need to have that because of what I was doing. Yeah. Now that I'm the second time around, I'm getting approved for the house. The power bill, I'm signing the paperwork. Feel to good, get don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah, a feel. law by the city. Man, I'm a citizen. <laughs> 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 they got to look over feel your shoulder. Feel good, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Man, I closed on that house. I signed them papers. Man, it just, you know, it just felt rewarding mm-hmm. that I could really accomplish this and not lean on my wife for everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, because, and, and how proud were you of him? Super. Yeah. Super mm-hmm. proud. I was well, like, this I, is oh, I like right. That's my husband. Yeah, that's my husband. That's my sexy husband. <laughs> yes. So it was like what I had been praying for. Like, I know we can do it, but I think he just needed that time. We needed that time so that he can see and so that I can see, you know, still what I had. Because I know I had a good man, but it was it was like I was fighting him. I was fighting his mom, I was fighting, you know, just the the um, the drama of the, the, the kids the and the mom. Moms, yeah, it was yeah, just like I was everything. fighting against so much. But I knew, like, if he could just see it and if he could actually become it, then it will be good. So um, I was very happy. Yeah. Very so happy. tell me, like y'all, how did y'all come up with the kitchen's brand? Kitchen's table. So, I mean, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, but it's a brand. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. kitchen's table is a brand. So mm-hmm. pretty much... When you sit back and you look at most of the successful um, multi-million, multi-millionaire companies, they are a brand. They are last name, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so, and that's what I wanted for our legacy, to have a brand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, I, to me, I piggybacked off the name, and we, as a team, came up with a lot of concept. Yeah, because, of course, our last name is Kitchens, and we both love to cook. Like, I have... I pretty much can cook everything, but this is the breakfast king right here. If you want, if you want, yeah, yeah. If you want some real uh, good, good breakfast good grits and omelets. Oh, you can make I, grits? Oh, my what? God. Who taught you? Your grandmother? Who taught you how to make grits? Um, 
Because everybody no, plays over grits. time. Just, he can make some. He yeah, can everybody plays yeah, grits. Yeah, and they yeah, all, yeah, you know, yeah, my yeah. mom always said, <clears throat> once you master grits, then you can cook. When yeah. you can cook them with no lumps in them. Ooh, man. Oh, yeah. what? He cooked grits. Creamy. Yeah, yeah everybody Thick. loves his grits. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we oh, took yeah. that. We took that and we ran with it. So we were like, let's, let's do um, something with our name. And then I love, like, all things pretty. He called Much. me Hollywood Royale because yeah. I just love yeah. everything pretty. Yeah. And then uh, we just we just ran with it from there. And then some of our um, like high school classmates and some of our older friends they know our story. And so they were like, "Man, y'all need to tell." We kept hearing that y'all need mm-hmm. to tell y'all story. So mm-hmm. we decided to write the book. Then we came out with the kitchens where. And the reason why we came out with the kitchens where first alongside of our name is that we still, like, one of our sons just moved out. Mm -hmm. But when they were all in the house, we sit down and eat dinner as a family. Like, it's nobody eating in their room. We sit at the kitchen's table, and we have dinner, and we talk. We have conversation with our kids. Yeah, Yeah. We had to say a Bible verse before we ate. Oh, yeah, he had to pick it out of a little bread loaf. (laughs) (laughs) No, we pick it out of bread loaf. You had to have a a different verse to say Uh every Mm -hmm. night at dinner. You had to know your verse. But my brother used to always get away. Every night he Jesus did this. How you know? <laughs> How you know? <laughs> my cousin did the same thing. And I'm sitting here saying, Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ. 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 <laughs> so I'm trying to say alone when he yeah. just said easy. Jesus way. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get away with that. Yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. what? That is something that I feel like kids are missing right, these they days. Miss yeah. Yeah. They're missing mm-hmm. the word. Right. They're missing yeah. that structure of a family, of mm-hmm. sitting down at the table, yeah. eating dinner, not playing a video game, not taking, you know, food to your room. And in my household right now, and, and my son, my sons are grown, mm-hmm. guess what? Don't take nothing up them steps. Step? No. Yeah. You can't no. eat nothing up them steps. We eat no. at the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We eat at the table. Yeah. Dinner at the table. And we got a formal dining breakfast. room table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got a kitchen table. Yeah. So, so no. Yeah, so table. y'all came up with the kitchen where set. Right. Yeah, we came up with the kitchen where set. Um, I love gold, so I wanted it trimmed in gold mm-hmm. and and the logo in gold. And then the um, the slogan is "Love happens here" because mm-hmm. love really does happen at, at the, the table. kitchen table. Right. That's where you talk about everything, how your day was, what your plans mm-hmm. are, what your goals, mm-hmm. your problems. So we wanted to really hone in on love everything happening at the kitchen here. table. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. And the name of the book is How Badly Do You Want It? A Married Couple's Guide to a Healthy and Passionate Marriage. How bad do you want it? And this was through trial and error. Yes. Yeah, so this Definitely. is tried, tested, proven. Proven, right. Yes. To work. It can work. It can work. Yeah. It can work. Yeah. It can work. Yeah. Put yes. the work in. I, yeah. I want y'all to t- tell me about <clears throat> chapter two, pray with and for your spouse. Why is that so important? It's so important to me because if I am consider myself the head, then I have to be able to lead from what I believe in. Mm-hmm. So if I believe in the most high, then I got to be able to lead from that. So me praying over them, making sure that they're covered if I'm at home or away from home, then I know that I've done my part as far right. as praying over them. Now, sometimes mm-hmm. I would send a text prayer to the family mm-hmm. in a group text. I would send my wife a prayer because my job is, is demanding. I might have to get up at four in the morning to be to work at five. They're still asleep, but that's my time to pray mm-hmm. and, and meditate and get my thoughts together on to protect me as I go out from all different types of danger seen and yes, dangers mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. temptations. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm, I, I'm away from home a lot. So when I'm covering myself at the same time, I'm covering my family and my wife. Right. So that's why it's important for me. And why is it important to you? Um, I saw it as a covering, um, making sure that I, again, same thing, cover the family, cover him while he's out, making sure that he stays strong, both physically and mentally, uh, emotionally, praying for, you know, just our household to be at peace, you know, to to stay on the positive path that we are on the second time around. So, right, she said, second time around. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So, I was out. I mean, to cut you off. No, you fine. I was on, I was on, I do a lot of contract work. So, the last prayer you sent me, I showed a couple of my boys that I was out. We sent prayers to each other. Man, she sent me a prayer and said, um, Please protect my husband from all the temptation that's going to come his way. I was just like, boy, don't you do a 
nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Prayer right here, boy. You yeah. can't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta put it out you there. You gotta, you gotta, nothing, you gotta send them I prayers out. I started my phone. Out. I said, especially when they work away, Ooh. you gotta send them prayers out because uh, 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 uh. Mm. Go I get prayed. Your own. I prayed over this first. So <laughs> well, yeah, the Lord you. is all up in this, and that's what's in our book too. Um, mm. That we really hone in on the marriage is a three strand cord. You, your spouse, and God. And yeah. when you tie that street three strand cord, it's not, not easily, easily broken. broken. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's Definitely. what that's what yeah. we talk about. And yeah. that was my foundation, you know, yeah. because I've had the influences of my real father. Mm -hmm. He was a hustler. He was a pimp. He was a street dude. Yeah. And him and my mom stayed together till, till I was about five. She divorced him. Got with my stepfather. Mm -hmm. He was a Baptist. Preacher. Mm. So my foundation comes from that, seeing that and being a part of that. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it allowed me to be versatile, but it allowed me to build my foundation with my family mm -hmm. so that we can be on a solid ground. Right. And that's, right. that's where it comes from. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And then this last one, distinguish between trust and control. Hmm. Is that a thin line? It's trust a very and control? Thin line. Okay, talk about very. it. So for me, like... <clears throat> My wife is, she's a very sought out esthetician. So at some points of the day, I want her. I want you to answer this phone. And if you don't answer this phone, to me, something is going on. Because <laughs> I need you to answer the phone. But at some point, she just can't answer the phone. And yeah. that's to me why I have to draw the line between trust and control. I have to be able to trust her that she's doing what she says she's doing that day, even though she didn't answer the phone. Mm -hmm. And allow her to, and not control her at that particular situation that she needed to answer that phone right then and there. Right. That's something I had to work on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you struggle with that too or no? Yeah, I did in the instance that, um, you know, them little things right there, cell phones. Yeah. You know, it's it's a lot that go down in them the cell devil. phones. Yeah, it is. It's Especially a lot in them DMs. In them DMs and Goes just. Down in the DMs. Yes, mm -hmm. all, all of that. So I was just like, <laughs> what is this? What is this? And so when we work that out and work past that, I'm like, okay, well, I had to trust that when I see him on his phone and I say, well, what you doing? You know, or what, you know, <laughs> then it would be, I had to just let it go. I can't be like, well, let me see and give it to me. And, yeah. you know, I, it's, so it's, it is a thin line because sometimes you'll think and you'll be like, mm -mm, I want to see. But then if you really want to trust and earn that trust and regain that trust and say you trust, you have to be like, you know what? Yeah. I trust that he doing the right thing because right, I done right. prayed about it this morning already. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to so, leave it alone. I'm so going to leave, leave it alone. alone. Yes, I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to leave it yeah. alone. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure y'all get the book, How Badly Do You Want It? A Marriage Couple's Guide to a Healthy and Passionate Marriage. Tell them where they can find the book. You can find the book on our website, which is the Kitchens Table. Dot com. Very simple. The kitchens table dot com. Yep. And the, the tableware. Where can they yeah, find the tableware? You can find that also on our website, the kitchens table dot com. You'll find it under just check out the website right. and all, but it's on the main parts tab. That's where you'll right. see it. Fellas, y'all dealing with something? Hit me up on the website. I got you. Yeah, because you. you also offer coaching. 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 Yeah. Coaching. Right? Yeah. For married right. couples for married or couples. for married couples. Married right. couples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or individual. You could be a husband that needs some coaching, or you could be a or wife that needs some coaching. coaching. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do y'all feel like y'all walking in y'all purpose now? Oh yeah. I do. Yes, yeah. I do. I feel like we do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. I love Thank to. You. See, yeah, I Thank love you. to see. I love Thank to see you. when black love prevails. Yes. yes. I guess I mean you know love. You know we know that the Bible said love never fails. Right. And it, and people don't realize a lot of times there is a lot that comes with love. It's not mm -hmm. just to say that you love somebody, but you have to be able to love people through the good, the bad, yeah. and the ugly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So I'm really happy for you guys. I'm excited to see so what the Thank future holds. What's next? <clears throat> yeah, right now we're on tour, so we got <laughs> <laughs> we got some more shows coming up. Yeah. But um, mm -hmm. just building the brand, just keeping it going. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. um, make, making sure that we get the brand out there and let everybody know what we have to offer. Yes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I let you guys go, I have to ask this question. This is Break Free Podcast. First of all, I need y'all to subscribe. That's first and yes, foremost. definitely. I need y'all to watch. I need y'all to share. I need y'all to like. Yeah. But tell me something that you feel like you're in bondage to and need to break free from. It doesn't matter who go first. Hmm. Something you need to break free from. You kind of said something earlier, but I'm not going to tell you what you said. 
Mm. I would say. It's a good question. Mm, probably it would be so more so fear of other people's opinions or mm. fear of making sure everything is perfect. I have like an OCD complex where if it's not perfect, then I'll shy away from doing it. Mm -hmm. So really? just mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. OCD. Oh, wow. I, yes. I like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, like, yeah. so that I would have be have to calm my, her down sometimes because yeah. it gets so tight. She would yeah. hold her hand like this. Just, He'd be like, like let, let your it hand go. go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> yeah, because that's, you know, I, I feel like if I don't put it out right, then I'm going to hear all the chatter. Yeah, yeah, so. I just put a thing up today that says we don't worry about the naysayers. We just yeah. keep on winning. Yeah, keep on yeah. winning. Yeah, so you just that's, keep on that's winning. That's what I need. Cause I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about you, but Will? I want you to remind me because I, I, it's, it's hard to answer that right now. What the, um, you said, I said it earlier. You did when we was talking about. You said I that's. You said I, I I have a weakness. Oh 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 yes, definitely. Um, just making sure everybody happy around me. Like yeah. I, I I gotta stop that because I that's would. That's what you need to break free from. Yeah, yeah, I would get to the point where, if you need, if you, let's say someone called cousin called me, they need something. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing on that, so I might spend a whole week trying to get them where they need to be, and I done stop doing what I need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. My father always say you have to. Go up first. Right. And then you then can you pull, pull others up right. with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once again, guys, I'm happy for the marriage. The second time around. Right. Oh, oh, wait, baby. wait, 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 wait. No. Tell them about that song y'all recreated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to play Tell it, them. but it's, um, so, okay, so this is what happened. One day I was at work, mm -hmm. and, and this young young lady pulled up bumping the song. Yeah. And she was just F-R-E-E-N-E-N-E. -E 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 -E. And I was just like. Come on now, this can't be what my daughter is just gonna Listen the influence. To, yeah. So I so I came up with the hook, um M A R R I E D. And that's all I had at the time. And uh -huh. I told my wife, I called, I said, hey, I got an idea. We need mm -hmm. to get this song out because I don't I got an answer to this F N F, yeah. whatever the yeah. song was. So I got some lyrics wrote for it. Shout out to my man Bam, but I got some lyrics wrote. And um I gave it to my wife. She's like, oh, I like this. And we mm -hmm. tweaked it a little bit. And we, we did the song in my basement. She mm -hmm. was nervous. I was like, because I was getting somebody else. I said, no, nah, baby, you're going to do it. Yeah. It's better coming from y'all. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. So she did it. And um, I contacted my man at the radio. And he played it. And uh, we did a little impromptu video at her birthday party. So I'm, I want to push it a little more. But right now. Should. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dope little table. song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's part of us. Yeah. And, too, right. like how y'all on this tour, when y'all going – to um, on different stages like the panel, mm -hmm. when y'all walking out, they need to be playing, playing the song. Playing the song. Yeah, yeah. you need to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. too, y'all probably need to start doing little reels. Right. With the song playing with the in the song. background, background. Yeah. or yeah. doing yeah. little skits yeah. with the yeah. song. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Give me my credit when y'all do it too. Yeah, so there you I'm go. There you go. I want to play. I want to play. Call ass, Get her a point. What you get? What you put it in? A couple points. Get her a couple points. Yeah, get her ass, man. Get her little points on there. No, thank y'all again yes. for coming. I'm happy we met at the vision party yes. that day. That's how yes. this came yes. about. Oh, you really yeah. intrigued me. I was like, oh, yeah, your story is crazy yeah. too. Yeah. Now. It was very yeah. powerful. Yeah. 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 Thank very you. Powerful. Thank yes. you to God. Glad to see yes. you walking in your purpose. Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm yes. thankful. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful yeah. that yeah. God trusts yeah. me Definitely. with my gift, and I'm thankful yes. to be able to use my gift mm -hmm. to touch people, to you know, inspire people, and just be a walking testimony that. Nothing is impossible with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, y'all, <laughs> I know y'all enjoyed yourself because I enjoyed myself. Did y'all enjoy yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. Good time. Yeah, good time. Yeah. 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 Good so time. remember, you. it's always delusion until they see it happen. And this episode was brought to you by the Ayers Agency, a full service marketing firm. Reach out to the Ayers Agency for all your marketing needs. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>